Hi everyone and welcome to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and this is a little Happy Mail video. Um, I got a parcel today and I don't even really know what's in it. So it's a bit worrying. <laughs> well, we'll see. And I also got um, about six or seven, I think it might be more, skeins of this yarn. And I have no idea what it is because it was just an unbranded bunch of skeins of yarn um lovely and soft nice stuff so i thought right well i'll buy it because it was in a in a charity shop which um i saw it in the window and i thought well, that looked kind of cool and they were hanks so i've had to wind all these into balls but um it's actually really really lovely so i don't know if you can see here look it's kind of double colored but it's got some lovely golds and yellows and oranges and in there there's reds and blues and then there's greys and all sorts of colours so it's really nice and it's so soft and it was ever so cheap there's all kinds of colours in there it's really really nice and this is what it's working up like um it looks working up like this sort of striping see i really like it and it's so soft just get my hook stuck put it the other way it's really soft but each color has it's like a double color along with it but yeah it's really nice and it was i can't remember how much it was but it was ever so ever so cheap for the whole pack but i don't know what it is isn't that weird you know <laughs> i always like to know if i can but there was no label there was no anything no color dye number no weight didn't tell me what um, size yarn it was so i've just been using a five millimeter crochet hook and it's been working up nice and i'm using these to try these out and i'll be letting you know what i think of them very soon so let's have a look this is my happy mail arrived in a big amazon envelope now i've ordered quite a few things recently so and I know that some people have sent me stuff. So I don't know if this is something that I've ordered or what, because it doesn't say. And I'm hoping I don't cut through anything vital. I don't think so, just an envelope. Oh, horrible padding. What have we got in here? Oh, wow. It's something that I have been waiting for. Oh, okay. Now in here, because I wanted to try, I have some Clover Amour hooks. I've been waiting for these because I did really want to try these out. I always thought I wouldn't like them and everybody loves them. So I thought, you know what? I need to try them myself. So I've ordered a few and I'm gonna be letting you know what I think of them. So that's that. And the other thing is this, I've been waiting for this. I got a nice one for Christmas from uh, my other half, from Gary, but um, I thought if I had two, I could leave one here and have one at my house. Sorry about the rustling, everybody. But this is a Damero crochet hook case. The one he got me, there's pussycats on the front, and this one has compartments, places for hooks and larger objects, that side. And it's got a little... Um, dip there and then on this side you have plenty of other hook compartments and little thing little tucky in places and there's these little cubbies to like with zips to put things in to keep them nice and safe so um that's great I've been waiting for that so that's good so I'm really pleased about this I'm going to use that a lot and um, what I aim to do is to keep a selection here and a selection at home and that way when I come here I don't come armed with loads and loads of bags because that's what's been happening I have been bringing half my house every time I come in even if I'm only coming for a couple of days I don't know what yarn I might want so I bring in like a massive cross section of all my stuff and all my hooks so that's good I can leave one case here with uh, stuff in and have one at home so that will save me will save me a lot of hassle so that's great i've been I, I'm, I'm looking forward to um, moving in to my new hook case 
and looking forward to trying these not i always thought i wouldn't like them but see these ones are quite flat i didn't realize that they had a flat section but this one's a larger hook 6.5 so it does seem like it's quite chunky but this one i have is a five and a four those are the hooks that i tend to use all the time those three sizes although i did want a six but i didn't have one but so I thought I'd get these and I will give them a good road test and see if I want to get a pack because I didn't want to go and buy a whole pack of them and find that I never use them. But apparently I saw this, Krista from The Secret Yarnery, she did a little thing on this once, this Demero hook case, and she uses it all the time. And she says that this will fit these big fat hooks. So that's one of the reasons I wanted this Demero hook case because these will fit into it quite snugly and without forcing them through the little um, little holes. So, well, that's my happy mail for today. And I'm really happy with my yarn because it was, I think I got the whole lot for about sort of three or four pounds. So really really uh, inexpensive so that's great and i love some of these colors are absolutely gorgeous in there you can't see them but there's a shine to this there is a real nice sheen on the yarn as well so and that orange is not coming through orange it's actually looking yellow on the screen but it's orange it's really it's if i can get the color no i don't think i can but it's a really lovely orange so thanks for watching everybody um <clears throat> i've just uploaded a new giveaway so please look out for that um there's going to be more coming um, and there's still three that's running currently one ends next week so there's still time to enter them so please if you would like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and get involved with all the fun thanks so much for watching and until next time bye for now everyone